हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे अवर टॉपिक इज कन्वल्यूशन कन्वल्यूशन यूजिंग वेरियस मेथड्स लाइक देर आर वेरियस मेथड लेट्स नेम देम फर्स्ट इज लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑल राइट सेकेंड इज यूजिंग कन्वल्यूशन फॉर्मूला ओके ना द थर्ड टाइप इज फोरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म एंड द फोर्थ टाइप इज जेड ट्रांसफॉर्म ओके सो लेट्स सी हाउ टू सॉल्व देम सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वी हैव एक्स ऑफ टी दैट इज इक्वल टू इरेज टू माइनस टू टी यू ऑफ टी वी हैव एच ऑफ टी दैट इज इक्वल टू यू ऑफ टी ओके ना हाउ वी कैन सॉल्व दिस सो लेट्स सॉल्व दिस बाय लैपलेस ट्रांसफॉर्म ओके लैपलेस ट्रांसफॉर्म मीन्स वी हैव टू कन्वर्ट दिस इन टू एस सो द फर्स्ट स्टेप वी हैव टू डू इज टू कन्वर्ट एक्स ऑफ टी इन टू एक्स ऑफ एस दैट इज इक्वल टू नाउ यू शूड नो द फॉर्मूला सी द फॉर्मूला इज यू ऑफ टी इज कन्वर्टेड टू वन बाय एस बट वेन वी मल्टीप्लाई ई रेस टू माइनस ए टी टू यू ऑफ टी वी गेट वन बाय एस प्लस ए सो अप्लाई दिस फॉर्मूला फॉर दिस वॉट विल हैपन वी गेट वन बाय एस और राइट प्लस ए मीन्स माइनस टू हियर नो दिस इज नॉट माइनस टू यू कैन सी दिस इज टू और राइट ई रेस टू माइनस ए टी सो ई रेस टू माइनस टू मीन्स वी गेट प्लस टू हियर और राइट नाउ द सेकेंड स्टेप इज टू कन्वर्ट एच ऑफ टी टू एच ऑफ एस what will happen so u of t means 1 by s simple now third step we have to use the convolution part that is y of s is x of s into h of s all right this means multiplying both so s into s plus 2 after using partial fraction we can split them and it would be 1 by 2 upon s minus 1 by 2 upon s plus 2 now we have to take inverse of that so inverse of this means y of n we will get And one by s inverse means u of t, so one by two u of t, and minus half here. What is the inverse of one by s plus a? This is the answer. So you have to convert this. So e raised to minus two t, then u of t. So this is our answer. So let's take some another example and solve this by another method. So our second question is: We have x one of t as e raised to minus two t u of t. We have x two of t as e raised to minus five t u of t. All right. Now we have to solve this by convolution formula. So what is the formula? Suppose we have to find x of t. The formula is we have to convert this x one of t into x two of t. All right. This is the basic meaning. When we have two function, if we convert this, we get the output. Now the formula is it is zero to t x of x one of lambda. All right. Replace t by lambda. Into x two of t minus lambda d lambda. So this is the formula. So what we have to do basically first replace t by lambda in the first function. Then we have to replace t by t minus lambda in the second function. Then we have to multiply this two and we have to integrate it with respect to lambda. All right. So what will happen? Zero to t. You can see replace this so e raised to minus two lambda. Okay. And integral e raised to Minus five t minus lambda d lambda. All right. Now what is what we can remove is we can remove this e raised to five t e raised to five t we can remove minus five t and the inside is e raised to minus two lambda and this is plus five lambda. So it is zero to t e raised to. We are talking about this this term. It is e raised to three lambda d lambda. After solving this. We will get one by three. This is nothing but if you know how to solve integrals, all right. So it is three lambda by three. Now replace lambda by t and zero. All right. So the answer is e raised to minus two t minus e raised to minus five t. So I hope you got this. So let's solve this similar sum using Fourier transform. So we have x one of t as e raised to minus 2t u of t we have x2 of t as e raised to minus 6t u of t and we have to find the output so convolution means we have to convert this to so let's say we have to find x of t so the first step is we have to use the fourier transform then we have to convert this so x1 of e raised to j omega 
remember this this is capital when we convert in fourier transform or z transform or anything and these are the small x okay so let's convert see uh, previously we talked about laplace transform in laplace transform u of t was replaced with 1 by s and e raised to minus a t u of t was replaced by 1 by s plus a now here we have to replace again s by e raised to oh sorry s by j omega so what will be the answer 1 by j omega plus a so a here is 2 so 1 by j omega plus 2 similarly x2 of e raised to j omega is 1 by j omega plus 6 now we have to multiply this to all right then x of e raised to j omega this is our required answer if we take the inverse all right if we take the inverse so multiply this two we get j omega plus two into j omega plus six now take the partial fraction again and we will get 0 0.5 upon j omega plus two minus 0 0.25 upon j omega plus six now we have to take the inverse use this reverse logic reverse logic means we will get x of t and see we have j 1 by j omega plus a means e raised to minus a t u of t so you can delete this 0 0.25 constant demand as it is then e raised to minus 2 t u of t then minus 0 0.25 again and it is e raised to minus 6 t u of t so this is the final answer now let's solve using Fourier transform so our fourth type is using z transform so our question is we have x of n is equal to 0 0.2 raised to n u of n we have h of n is equal to 0 0.4 raised to n u of n now we have to find y of n as simple so first step is convert x of n into x of z so the formula here is now we have to know this whenever we have a raised to n u of n it changes to z by z minus a so what will be this z by z minus what is a 0 0.2 okay simple similarly we get h of z h of z is z by z minus 0 0.4 now we have to multiply both what will happen if you multiply both yes we will get y of z using convolution simple so again we multiply then we have to use partial fraction now what will happen z square by z minus 0 0.2 and z minus 0 0.4 this we get when we multiply this two okay now what we have what we have to do is you can see the numerator and denominator power is equal okay then shift this z so so after shifting we get this okay now you have to use the partial fraction here and we get after partial fraction 0 0.2 okay now what we have to do take this z and again plug in in the numerator here so basically we will get minus z by z minus 0 0.2 plus 2 times z by z minus 0 0.4 fair enough now take the inverse of this again if you have to take the inverse use this logic so relate this and the answer is minus 2 times sorry where I can write let's say here only so what is the answer minus 0 0.2 raised to n u of n this is not 2 this is z okay z then we have 0 0.4 raised to n into u of n also we have 2 multiplication here so we multiply 2 so this is our final answer so what was the main aim the main aim was convolution means all of you know that it can be x of n into h of n or x1 of n into let's say convert with x2 of n here also we convert all right but the question here was what are the various types that we can solve this to get the output and the output was y of n or x of n so the first step Alright, the first method you saw was Laplace transform. Alright, I have written over here. These are the these are the various methods. So why are this important? 
again when we talk about exam the examiner wants solve only using let's say fourier transform what will we do we cannot use the laplace transform we cannot use the formula we have to solve using the fourier transform that's why you should know how to solve them so again when we talk about exam we should be happy that we know all this method because whatever the examiner wants we can deliver that if he wants laplace transform we can solve that if you want using formula we can do that again using fourier transform or z transform they are quite similar as well so we can do that also so i hope you like this video to friends agar aapko meri video pasand aa rahi ho then do like this video share with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel to milte hain agli video mein till then take care this is shrenik jain peace out